My first guest was writing about the private lives of Hollywood wives well before reality TV existed. I don't know why I'm speaking like that, but there's something about, <laughs> something about her swag and her novels just make me go there. She has written more than 30 novels, which have sold 500 million copies worldwide. I'm sure you have some. Her latest bestseller is titled Confessions of a Wild Child. Please welcome the incomparable Jackie Collins. <laughs> Jackie. I'm so happy to be here, and you have such a fabulous audience. Aren't they great? Yeah. I'm beautiful, too. Wow. You know what? I must say, just sitting here next to you is just making me think all kinds of thoughts that allow me to explore <laughs> the world and live lives through other people. Don't y'all feel the same way? I mean, this is Jackie Collins here. <laughs> I think it's so fantastic. Is it true that you still write your novels just on a simple I do. Pen and I write pen? in longhand, and uh, characters come to me all the time. And it, it, to me, that's very organic. You know, you mm -hmm. write the stories, you create the characters, you write the sex scenes. I'm, I mean, I don't want to do it on a computer. I want to be there. You I know, I want that. to. I want to have it right at my fingertips, so you to speak. You know what? I actually, I really love that because I'm. I, I'm I really have a thing for writing and I, the, the touch of paper and a pen. Exactly. That's and real writing. Yeah, you can put it in a computer and all that. That's fine. You but can do I that. have to say to you that sometimes when I'm writing, I play music. And if I'm writing a great love scene, I will put on something from the Dana Owens album. There's a track called So Beautiful. Oh! That's an Al Green record right there. I know, and I'm telling you, ladies, if I'm you want to moment right now, yeah, that if you is want to, awesome. If you want to get busy with anybody, put on that track. <laughs> Jackie knows. That, yeah, I know. Trust yeah. Jackie Collins. Yes, exactly. But that is fantastic. I must say, it you is. have the Thank most so gorgeous much. voice, and that's such a great arrangement. That is so very cool. Yeah. I totally, I appreciate that. Well, I love music, and I love you. And I love that you're. Thank you very much. You. Likewise, and I love that you're inspired. You know, buy music. I can see oh, yes. you bring characters Absolutely. to life. I love to people like Drake and Usher and Diddy and, you know. Yes! It depends what you're writing, you know. Yes! And then, of course, Old Time Soul. Mm -hmm. Going mm -hmm. back to Marvin Gaye and Smokey Robinson and all the greats. And being English, Jackie you know, we knows. grew up. Yeah. Yes, you did with a we lot of soul. We grew up with all, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's so cool. Yeah. I, I love that. I love that you guys appreciate our artists are so artists oh, like that. So much. It's always yes. been like that too. Yeah. Hasn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Confessions of a Wild Child. I love the title. It's a good title, isn't it? Are you it? a wild child? I am. <laughs> I was. <laughs> I was. Well, you know, I have a character called Lucky Santangelo. Yes. Who I've written about in seven books and two mini series. And uh, she was such an interesting character, and women like her so much because she's so strong right. that I wanted to do a prequel and take her back to when she was 15. And how did she become the woman she is today? Mm -hmm. How did she become strong? How did she kick ass? How did yeah. she do it, you know? And so I wrote Confessions of a Wild Child, but it took me back to my wild child days because I'm a school dropout. So, ladies, you can do anything because if I can, 30 <laughs> books later. <laughs> 30 books later. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, well, what kind of wild child were you? What well, you I was into? expelled from school, and um, I don't know. I used was to go out to jazz clubs. Yeah, in London. Okay. Uh, we lived in a basement apartment, and mm -hmm. I could get out of my window really easily <laughs> when I was like 14, and I'd go to all these jazz clubs, and I had a boyfriend who really? was a musician, which is probably why I'm so into music. I, and I would so. sneak out so and cool. learn about life. And, you know, if you're a writer, you have to know what you're writing about. Yes. If you're a singer, you have to know, you have mm -hmm. to have those emotions, you know? It's true, there's a big difference when people sing. Um, you hear, especially a lot of young singers, yeah. you'll hear them sing and their voices are amazing, their talent is unbelievable, but they don't quite have the life experience exactly. that goes along with this those songs. So I mean, when you listen to somebody like Amy Winehouse, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, she's oh, been yeah. there, done it. Oh, God yeah. bless her. God bless so, her. I know, I love her. her. I know. Oh. Uh, is it true that you stole your sister Joan's diaries growing up? She stole my diaries. She stole she was your so, diaries? You know, she was my older sister, and she was very, very kind of, you know, uh, she was prim. 
And I was the one that was getting out of the window and going to all these places. This was before she went off to Hollywood. And so I kept this diary about all these guys I was seeing, you know, and who I was going to see next and what I was going to do. <clears throat> and um, she told my mother where I hid the diary, and my mother read it. Oh, so I gosh. jumped on her back and cut all the buttons off all her clothes. <laughs> I don't think she's ever forgiven me. Yes, she has. Yeah, we're, we're really good friends. I would hope so. That's yeah. some sweet revenge. Yeah, it was. It was pretty good. That's. Pr did you? Were you pretty honest in your diary? I was pretty honest. Yeah, oh, because gosh, I. Gosh, your to poor keep mother. Lists poor and things, mom. and I remember. Um, you know, I had this boyfriend who was a jazz musician, right. and he said one day he was doing a, uh, a review for a, a newspaper on Dizzy Gillespie, and I found myself in a cab with Dizzy Gillespie and a couple of other American musicians, and I'm like wow. 15 by this time, and they're all, you know, having a nice cigarette, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. <laughs> so I wrote about this in my diary, yeah, of course, on my mother's nice cigarettes in here. So. Oh, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Some of them There's had nice there. cigarettes before they <laughs> came out of the skin. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, you write about what you know. And I was a very street smart kid when I was right. very young. And I looked much older than my age. Mm -hmm. So when I was 14, I looked like 19 or 20. And I told everybody I was. I had this one boyfriend. And one day I said to him, you know, I think I should tell you I'm only 14. And I never saw him again. I was so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Where has he gone? I'm so surprised. Yes. Mm -hmm. he, he went to stay out of jail. Yeah. I <laughs> I think for you, just as me, and I was out hanging out in New York in the clubs at 15, but yeah. life was an adventure to be had f for me at that time. It was, I was out to explore life and learn the world. Well, that's what I say to girls today. You know, you ask girls today, you say, what do you want to do? And some of them say, I want to be famous. And you go, no, 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 you want to live life. Right. And I very much believe in marriage, but before you get married, you can do anything you want. Yes. And you should do anything you want. Yeah. Right now, well, right. we got to take a break on that. And besides writing a novel, Jackie also wrote a cookbook. So when we come back, she is going to show us how to make the perfect meatloaf. And that woman can cook, so I can't wait to try it. Welcome back. I'm here with Jackie Collins, who's just released her first cookbook. We have Jackie Collins super fans here. Dina, Jerry, and Linda from the audience Hi. to taste. You love you some Jackie Collins, huh? Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Oh, oh, I don't even want to get into their stories. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, we're making your famous meatloaf today. Now, where do we begin? Well, here's the thing. Everybody has their own meatloaf recipes. This is true. But I want to do something special. So in the Lucky Sant'Angelo cookbook, because it's her, she's I all about cooking that. and sex. Uh, she cooking made something and really... sex. Yeah. I mean, why not? I mean, cooking is part of sex, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's very tactile. Yeah, I mean, very... Your music playing and, you know, the <laughs> cooking going on. So we're going to start off. I have already started to simmer these. These Ooh. are like the vegetables. There's onions and there's... You have to like... Mm, that smells really good. I know. It smells good, doesn't it? And then mm -hmm. we'll leave that to simmer. Okay. And then we're going to move over here to the mixture. Can All you right. put the eggs in I there sure for can. me? That would be great. So we got put some the eggs. eggs in there. Yeah, and we've got I don't know if we want to use the hot sauce. Oh, uh, let's let's You go want to use the hot sauce? Oh, she's no. hot. She's you know, hot. Why not? Okay. Use like the hot food sauce. and sex. Now we I have mean, some beef broth that can go in. Got to get the And there's um, blood the going sauce there. Here that goes in. Keep the stress so down. So you've got to give that a little whisk. And what's this gorgeous thing? Oh, yeah, the that's end. a little yeah, put that in. Something. All right. There we go. I know. This is all the secret ingredient. Yeah, a secret ingredient. This is all on the website anyway, so... Yes, it is. You can get this all you're going to mix that and we're going to bring it over to the meat. And you're, like, famous for your dinner parties. You well, love cooking I, for people, Well, you know huh? what? I like to give them homely food that is fun and people love it, you know? Yes. So if you mix that in with this... All right. So we're going to mix that it on all over there. about... Yeah. Now, and this I is the part where you... I don't want to splash your beautiful... Top, but uh, I'm gonna I got the gloves in. on, Jackie. Oh, Let me do this. Okay, for you, you do this. You do this. You for do me. that part. Oh, <laughs> just right. pour it in. Okay, there. I'll pour that in. And, and then, you're gonna mix and it then you up. just mix this all up. Oh, yeah. that's we even. Put a little pinch of this in. A little okay. salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper. Okay, oh, good. I love how small you diced up the onions. Now you have three kinds of meat Something here. Yeah. We have veal, mm -hmm. and we have beef, and mm -hmm. we have pork. Nice. Okay. Yes, and you're doing a great job. You've done this before, haven't you? She's cooked before. I've been known so to squeeze a little. We had that. We've got that in there. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! So you are back to, there. Here's what. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to make a nice 
You're going to mound it. There. Okay. Not mount it. Mound it. Mound it. Mound it. Yes. So like little okay. mounds, just or no, one, one big, big mound. mound. Okay. And cool. you're going to shape it really nicely. Honestly, this is my first time making meatloaf. You're going to love it. I'm telling you. Yeah, this is good. I'm, make it more I'm like the that. taste yes. more ovular that way. <laughs> there. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a good job. I think that's good. That's good. You know, now looking? you want to put a little tomato ketchup on the top, mm -hmm. which burns nicely. I used to have it smooth. Yeah. <laughs> nice situation. Okay. Well, that's oh, looking neat. a little more respectable, That's looking huh? very good. A little bit of tomato ketchup okay. on the top. Little yeah, I'm making you work. That's okay. And then, this is the secret is ingredient. It can be done if I'm doing it, <laughs> and I've never done it, and just spread that out. The oh. secret ingredient is the bacon. Bacon. You're going to layer the bacon on top. Ooh. Okay, this gives it a fantastic flavor. Just straight across yes. or kind of just... Yeah. Uh, just, just like across, yeah, straight across. Like so that? you can put, yeah, maybe three, maybe three crust, yeah. This is good. Or more if you really like bacon. If you like bacon. <laughs> Who doesn't like bacon? I mean, <laughs> yeah. All right. And then when we're done with and that, then we're that goes in the oven. And put that in the oven. I am going to put that in the oven here. Oh, wow. There we go. Look how Whoa. the bacon goes. Look at this bacon. Yeah. There we go. Look how crispy and gorgeous. Look at that. That looks good, huh? So, you want to try it? Yeah, well, we got our oh, we got we your got, super fans oh. here. Do you guys want to test it and see what it tastes with like? With creamy mashed potatoes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. They have to be creamy whipped. mashed potatoes. And, and it looks like you got a little too. cocktail there yeah, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is the Jackie Collins created for me by Wolfgang Puck. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. I love Wolfgang. He was just here not too long ago. I love Wolfgang Puck. He's fantastic. Meatloaf, creamy mashed potatoes, yeah. and a cocktail. Exactly. What is not to love? I know. Forget a vegetable. I We're good. One for you. Wanna thank you very much. And one for me. And we'll talk to you. Thank you so much. Ladies, go ladies for it. You. Dig in. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, for these recipes, go to queenlatifa.com and be sure to pick up a copy of the Lucky Santangelo cookbook. It is in stores now. It's got some recipes that are to die for. And everyone in the audience is going home.